Hi Rudy, how are you? I'm very excited today because this is my first video as an AWS Community Builder. I really, really hope you will like the video and I can't wait for your feedback. Today I will explain you how to create a sign-up flow with Unity and AWS Cognito. Uh, the Cognito documentation says the following. The sign-up flow is a two-step process. First, you create the user and then you confirm the user. There is three ways to confirm a user with Cognito. First of all, the, the first way is a user confirmation. That means the user confirms himself. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you have experimented this kind of flow. It's a typical, uh, you register on the website and then you have to enter a code you receive uh, in your email. So in this case, the user confirms himself with a code. This is uh, the first way. The second way is the admin confirmation. Uh, you may have experimented this kind of flow is, for example, you receive an email after, just after register, you receive an email uh, that says click on the mail below to confirm your account. So this is a very common flow. And in this case, uh, you click on the link or something else and uh, a function is triggered on your backend, on your on your server and the user can be confirmed. In this video I will do it with Lambda and Python but you could do it for example with a Node.js function in on an EC2 instance. It's up to you. The third way to confirm a user is the automatic confirmation. So just after a user is created Cognito confirm himself the user with a trigger uh, with a trigger function. Uh, the question here is when do I need this kind of automatic confirmation? Um, there is a good uh, a great example of that is when you have your mobile application and you want the user sign up for example to save the game but without go out of the application uh, because of the retention, because of the conversion. So you want the user uh, register without uh, clicking on a link or without entering a code. So this is a great example for, for this kind of confirmation. Now we will go to the Cognito console. For this video, I have created a new user poll in the Ohio region. This is the user poll ID, we will need it later. And there is a couple of things I want to show you here. First of all, the sign up experience. We do enable the self registration because we want the user to have the ability to register himself. Uh, second things I want to show you is this one. We also allow Cognito to send messages. In this video, I will uh, perform uh, an email verification, but you could do it with SMS too. And at least in the app integration section, we have here the, the app client ID. We will need it later. For this video, I also have created a very simple Unity application. So I have all my code here in a script and I have added the script to a Unity object. Then when the Unity application runs, the script will be automatically executed. So now let's see the code. Okay, so this is a code. When the script will be executed, it will call automatically the sign up function. Uh, the best things to do would be create a sign up screen with input field, etc. But in this video, we will just focus on the code. So in the sign up function, we will create a user. We 
will create one user per confirmation flow. So let's create the first user with a random password and the client ID here is the Cognito application client ID we have seen before. The Cognito URL is this one, but according to the region where you have created your user pool, it can vary. In my case, I have created my user pool in Ohio, so the URL contains US East 2. Let's go back to the code and I will specify my email, my personal email where I will receive the code. And please don't forget there is a special, a specific header for this request, which is a next AMZ target with a sign up value. If you don't specify this header, it won't work. Okay, so let's try this function. I will run the Unity application. I have split in my screen to see more easily the creation of the user. So let's run the app. And we receive the following. The user has been created, but with an con unconfirmed status. And an additionally, an email has been sent to my personal email. This is my personal email. So let's check it on the Cognito console. And we have the user run created with an unconfirmed status. So let's check now my personal email. I did receive the code from Cognito. So I will copy this code and passed it in the confirmation function in Unity. This is the confirmation signup function. We will confirm the user one we just have created and we passed here the code we receive, we receive by email. Again, the best thing to do is another screen with an input field, please enter the code, etc. But yes, we'll do it this way. Uh, the client ID is the same uh, Cognito application client ID. And be careful here, the header change a little bit. The, it's, it is still a next AMZ target header, but with a confirm sign up value. And here we are going to execute again, run again the unit application, but we will call the confirm sign up function and go. I will run the application and we received an empty object. This is totally normal. If the confirmation has been successful, you should receive an empty object. So let's check the Cognito console. We click on update and that's it. We could confirm successfully the user one. So let's now try the second flow with the user two. Go back to the code. So we will create the user two. This time the email won't be necessary because we will perform an admin confirmation. Then we can safely remove the email attribute. And again, we will call the sign up function. Okay, let's execute. Let's run our Unity application and we receive user confirm false. So the user has been created. Let's check it. Yes, the user has been created with a non-confirmed status. So now we will create a Lambda function in order to confirm the user. In the Lambda console, I have created a new Lambda function. So let's check the function. 
and this is a function is very it's very very simple we create a new cognito client thanks to boto3 and we call the confirm sign up function so usable id is a usable we have seen before and we want to confirm the user too so it's everything works it should print user confirmed so let's uh, run our lambda function and we have user confirmed we are going to check it in the cognito console we update the user and we have the user to confirm that worked uh, let's now try the last flow for the last flow i have created a sign up trigger function this function is very very simple we receive the trigger event with as a parameter and we just change the response and we return the whole object so this is a trigger and very very simple just two lines and now what we need is creating a trigger in cognito we need to call this function within cognito so let's go to the cognito console and in the user pool we will add a new lambda trigger and we need that is exactly what we need a pre sign up trigger we choose the function sign up trigger and we add again in the unity code we will create a user tree in the same way uh, that previously and we run the application let's go we received a user confirm statute true that means the user has been created and confirmed let's check in the cognito console and yes that worked we have a third user with a confirmed status so we could build three different flows with three different ways uh, of uh, confirming that's all for this video uh, we could see how to create a user thanks to unity and cognito and how to confirm the user i really hope you liked the video uh, i will i would be very pleased if you give me your feedback if you let a comment if you subscribe if you check my medium page or my website or my website and see you in the next video. Bye.